Hey guys, what's up? This is Angry John here once again, and if you've read the towel already, you know exactly where this is going, but before I get to that, um, I need to explain something. Um, I need to explain the avatar change, uh, the, the, the reason the banner's gone, and um, where all the Thomas material has gone to. Um, I decided to privatize all Thomas material, and I might go ahead and delete them after I'm done recording, or sometime later. The reason for this is because I've been getting self-conscious of what I put in my channel. And uh, I felt it was the best move to take that stuff down. I didn't even... I started to dislike the Thomas vs. SJW video anyways. Because this was back when I was a Sargon of a COD 6... Uh, a kiss-up. And, uh... Yeah. <sighs> that, that aged poorly because I don't even like Sargon anymore. So, uh, yeah... I also did not like the fact that the video was sloppily done. I mean, the whole thing was fucking unscripted, so, um, yeah. I just wish that video was done better better in general. I also took down the commentary on uh, Nostalgia Creek, which was about Thomas and the Magic Railroad. Um, I have, I still have the copy of that video. I saved on my computer, and I know that the person I collaborate with would probably want a copy of it, so, um, yeah. And don't be surprised if it comes to the point I might start taking down other commentaries because I'm just not comfortable having them up on my channel anymore. Because um, all it does is remind me of past drama and stuff I don't want to be reminded of. Because I kind of want to move on from this stuff. So um, this is actually the reason why I replaced the avatars because guys I stuck with the Fat Controller for 6 years. And I don't see myself as a Thomas YouTuber or anything like that. So I felt the avatar was just inappropriate. And not to mention, uh, it all it does is remind me of drama involving this avatar. Like, some of my worst videos involve this avatar. So I felt it would be best to replace it with Gumshoe for the time being. I don't know if Gumshoe is intended to be my permanent avatar. But we're going to have to wait and see. So, to get to the main meat of this video, I have decided to retire from solo commentaries. I say solo because um, co-ops might still happen, but it won't be me making the co-ops. Um, I'd much prefer if it was someone else who was doing the co-op and I was their partner. But even then, that's a big maybe because... It has to be someone I absolutely trust because I have severe trust issues. And it has to be someone I would love to work with. And more importantly, I have me having fun with the project. I would actually enjoy making it. And, you know, write funny lines and, you know, write, you know, bounce off one another. You know, great chemistry and stuff like that. You know, all the great recipes for a good co-op commentary. Or triops or whatever. Co-ops. Co-ops. Hexops, um, whatever. Um, so why did I retire from this stuff? Why am I retiring from this stuff now? Like, I've always said, um, I might return, you know, um, I'm not retiring or stuff like that, but what happened that I got to this point? Um, I'm not going to go to the, f like, all the details, because I feel I'm going to ramble for a very long time. But uh, ever since the Calm Clinic commentary, I kind of took a back... Like I, like, I took a good look at myself. I took a good look at what I was making for commentaries. And I didn't like it. I did not like what I was seeing with some of these commentaries that I used to do. Um, and I slowly but surely, I started to disown them. A lot, actually. Um, I realized that I was getting increasingly spiteful. I was getting increasingly, um, um, I was becoming more emotional rather than rational when it came to making commentaries. And that's why I'm not comfortable having them up on my channel anymore. Uh, they're currently unlisted. Uh, the only way to find them is on a playlist. Um, list, um, um the, the playlist is simply called commentaries. But... It could get to the point I might end up deleting them anyways. Because I 
I just don't like watching my older stuff. I, I, I've always been my worst critic, and those commenters, man, God. This was back when I was mostly trying to be funny, and it's just not working. I say lo weird shit. I, most of the commenters was just me going off the cuff, and it fucking shows. Um, I mean, this video is going off the cuff, but, you know. It's, a, it's, a, it's expected. I mean, I'm not doing a commentary. I'm doing, like, a rambling kind of thing where I'm explaining why I'm retiring from this stuff. Um, so, yeah, I started to notice that I was getting really spiteful. I was getting more angry, and uh, it was not healthy. It was not healthy of me to do so. Uh, the Augusta commentary I did in 2016 was a bit of a lucky fluke for me. It was like a lucky break. Um, I feel I picked on an easy target, I know. I know, but at the same time, this this person was really fucking annoying and just downright creepy, and uh, I had to do something about it, because I didn't want drama to escalate because of this asshole, so I did what I did. Then come 2017, so after I did the Augusta commentary, I got somewhat my confidence back from uh, the comp clinic stuff, and I thought for sure that... Um, I was going to be better. I was going to get better at this stuff, but I couldn't find myself working into them. Like, I don't know why. I just couldn't get myself in a good mood to work on commentaries again. The only time I actually had fun doing commentaries was the April Fool's one, but it was on myself. Um, and even that was a bit stressful at times, especially since... Um, I had to wait until last minute for uh, Youngblood to give me his vo voice lines, and that was pretty stressful, waiting for that stuff, because I had to get it out by April Fool's. Um, um, there was also uh, the fact that um, I started like projects on commentaries, I started a commentary on just like my now sync, it went through two revisions, then I simply canned the project because months and months passed with no progression on it whatsoever, and I simply said, fuck it, I just canned the thing, and I thought that no one was going to give a shit at the end. And I thought it was utterly pointless anyways because as my now sync show, has shown us, he doesn't really want to learn. He doesn't really want to evolve as a person. He's always going to be an incredibly toxic and angry and spiteful human being. And I felt it was not worth covering. <sighs> and I started another commentary, but that one went nowhere as well. Like, it was only at the brainstorm process before I ultimately said, no thanks. So, I could not think of any good commentary material. I even thought of commentating on Flawful Yu-Gi-Oh!, but... That would have continued that long-ass commentary chain, and not to mention it was opinion versus opinion, and that will, and that was bound to be stupid, so I decided not to. It also did not help that around the time I was thinking of doing this commentary, my grandmother died. So that killed any mood to work on that, and by the time I, you know, got over my grief, um, there was no, I didn't care, I didn't want to do the commentary anyways. What I'm trying to say is, is that I just... I'm just not comfortable doing commentaries because with the whole Med Mr. Medicare thing as well as all the infighting and all the drama and all the hostilities that are going on in the CC right now, I'm just not comfortable contributing material without feeling like I'm being like, like I feel like I'm going to be dogpiled if I make a bad commentary or I make a bad, like I make a stupid mistake on a video of mine. I... I'm just, I, like, I don't want to be dogpiled. I don't, that's not something I want to go through. I don't think anybody wants to go through that, but, uh, shit happens, you know. And, uh, and I feel in the past I've might have contributed to the hostile and spiteful nature of the commentary community, and for that reason, I have to say I am deeply fucking sorry to anyone I've covered in the past who got a lot of shit because of the videos I've done on them. I mean, okay, there are some exceptions uh, to this rule. I mean, Augusto, I mean, good riddance to the guy. I mean, I've heard a lot of awful shit about him, so it does, doesn't really matter. But for other people, like Neutrogic Sonic or uh, um, who else? Some other people, like, um, other peeps like that. I guess Augusto as well, because I was a little, I was like a shithead towards him. 
for that I say I am deeply sorry. I am deeply fucking sorry for um for being like angry and spiteful towards these people. I deeply apologize. That was not that was not nice of me to do. Um I don't know why I started getting increasingly spiteful. I think it was because Ryan Rhino Mills was really popular around that time and his videos are known for him being like super angry towards his targets and uh saying really mean things. Like I know I'm a person of brutal honesty, but Ryan at times did not mince his fucking words and uh I thought, hey, you know, this is the popular style of commentary now. You know, the stuff I was doing before where I was just doing it for the sake of, you know, the funnies and stuff. No, it ain't, ain't working no more. I have to be angry and spiteful all the fucking time. And uh, look how that fucking turned out. <sighs> I, felt I, was getting, I, I felt I was getting out of touch with the community. And I felt that, and I will admit this right now. A lot of the times when I made commentaries or other videos, it was just for the sake of getting popular. I will admit this now. I was only doing this to be popular. Um, but I know now that fame comes with a price, and uh, I don't want that fame anymore. I don't want to. I don't see myself as a popular person, and I, I, I understand that sucks. But I understand at the same time that might not be such a bad thing at the end. And if I end up being an irrelevant person, so be it. Because I think that is the best thing for me because uh, I don't know if I can mentally handle a massive fame. And because of all the paranoia and the anxiety and the depression and all the stuff that's been going on with me over the CC and all the drama and all the stuff and all the all the shit flinging I just I just no longer have any fun doing commentaries I feel it's just stressful I feel like people are bringing down my fucking neck when doing them I just there's just too much of a pressure there's just too much stress and I don't think it's mentally healthy for me so I have to step away from it so that's why I am quitting the stuff I am throwing the towel because I feel I've exhausted um all I could with this stuff. Um, I feel I'm not smart enough for this stuff anymore. I feel I'm not that funny. I feel I'm not... Um, I feel I'm not... I, I can't trust myself to make sure that whenever I upload a commentary, it wasn't like out of spite or anything like that. I couldn't always guarantee that because there are plenty of times when my emotions got the best of me. And uh, that is something I want to make sure it doesn't happen again. So, um, for the big, I know there's like a big maybe with co-ops, I, um, the big maybe with co-ops, but once again, it's a big maybe, but for solo commentaries, for sure, they're, they're done. I am done with them. The only, the only thing that would, like, make me, like, that would reconvince me to come back is if some major changes happen to not only the CC, but to my personal health, my personal life. Um, and, uh, everything was more welcoming, and it didn't feel like I was being, uh, attacked by anybody, or, uh, you know, I felt safe, I felt safe, like nobody was going to, you know, send death threats to me, or do anything nasty like that towards me, I have to feel safe, but until then, I'm done, I am done with this stuff, and I do apologize, I don't want to disappoint people. That's not some. That's not something I want to make sure that. Uh, that's something I don't want happening. I don't want to disappoint people. That's something I don't want to do. But, uh, and uh, I feel like shit. I really do feel like shit. But uh, it's um, it's something I had to come in terms with. I just, I'm just not having fun with this. Like, there's no other way to put it. I'm just not having fun with it. But with that in mind, what's going to happen with the video? What's going to happen with this channel now? Well, live streams are still going to be happening. Um, not frequent, mind you, but they're still going to be happening. And they're only going to happen when I feel like streaming or when it's the right, when it's the perfect time or the perfect opportunity. I have to, like, find the window of opportunity to make streams. I can't just stream willy nilly because I want, you know, to make sure that I don't get interrupted or stuff like that. 
Um, I've been thinking of doing reviews again, but they're not going to be the unscripted ones like I did before. Because those were garbage. Um, I want to make them scripted and a little more professional. I also want to... Um, I've been thinking of doing top 10s as well, but that one I'm not sure about because the last time I've done top 10s, they've ended in complete disaster. Um, so I don't know. I'm going to think on that one. Um, Let's Plays might be a thing. Um, I did a Let's Play a long time ago with Mario Party 2. Uh, looking back at it now, it wasn't well done. Um, it was not It was not that great, but uh, um, Let's Plays could be a thing, but again, it's going to depend on the circumstances of my life right now. Um, I mean, I, I've been unemployed for nearly a year at this point, and who knows, I might get a job, and that could derail those plans to make uh, um, Let's Plays and stuff like that, because those can be big projects and they can take a long while so so if i do so I, if i do make a let's play it's not going to be right away um it's going to take many months in the making so um yeah um there's also other sorts of videos i want to do obviously but uh i don't feel like making big projects because i realize what my trust issue is big projects will never ever happen um i was thinking of doing a phoenix Wright crossover with um team fortress 2 but that never happened unfortunately um, God, and it sucks too, because I have spent like a year on it, but never went anywhere because I barely scripted the thing. Uh, I brainstormed most of it, but I realized that it would never come to fruition because I am too much of a chicken shit to work with complete strangers. Um, is there anything else? Um, I've opened the blog spot. I don't know if I, I don't know if people care about that, but I've opened the block spot, and uh, in case I make, I want to talk about something, but I can't do it in video form because it would be too big, and would take too much time, or um, copyright issues would arise. Um, I could make blogs about it, about the thing I want to talk about instead, and uh, I'll be sure to link to it on Twitter. So do follow me on Twitter if you haven't already. Um, it's Angry John Twenty Four. It's had the Kermit the Frog avatar at least at the time of this recording. I live tweeted, uh, speaking of Twitter, I've live tweeted the whole the Intel Direct yesterday. I didn't think to record myself because I thought my brother was going to come in at any time, but that didn't happen. And I feel stupid for not recording. But um, I'm going to be doing a video later today, later today or tomorrow where I'm going to be discussing my overall thoughts on Nintendo's, the Nintendo Direct of yesterday. And uh, there's a lot of stuff to talk about. So do look forward to that, and it's going to be a more fun video for me to make, and it's going to be a lot more uh, optimistic, so um, yay, yay for positivity. Um, so that's all I need, to, so that's all I'm going to say, um, I do apologize if I've, um, I am sorry, I, I do apologize if I've disappointed people, I've let people down, um, I understand if you feel like unsubbing at this point, I understand, but it's something I had to come in terms with. And unless something major happens to me that would convince me to come back to commentaries, um, they're done. They're, they're completely done. Um, and uh, I find myself enjoying watching other people's commentaries way more than me making them. So, yeah. Um, I'm still going to be in the CC. Um, I don't know, if, I don't know if, I've even, if I even was part of the CC now, I think about it. But I'm still going to be around. I'm not going anywhere. But it's just I'm not going to associate myself with the drama that's going on. Uh, that is not that is not my cup of tea. That's not my that's not something I want to get myself involved with. So um, yeah, that's about it. Um, hopefully, I feel a little more positive um, later today and the next couple of days because I, I I need a I need a pick me up. I really do need a pick me up. Um, this is Angry John. Over and out.